So we have got ourselves Luca Paqueta, Moments SBC. As you can see, he got it for his goal against Clermont in League in 2001 2022 season. Looks like a really nice rounded card. Five star skill, three star weak foot, high, high left footed. Good acceleration, sprint speed, good attack position and finishing, shot power. In terms of dribbling and ball control and composure, really good strength stamp. It's like a really nice rounded card. The reason why his defending stats are so low, as you can see there, is because of his headering accuracy and his, stand, his slide tackle, sorry. In terms of trait, just outside the foot shot. And let's see what, how many days it's there for. So it is there for 12 days. And here are the requirements. So you need one Brazilian, one team of the week, 84 rated, 60 chem. You get yourself a premium mixed players pack back. One league one player team of the week, 85 rated, 55 chem. You get a prime mixed players pack back as well. Was well, a premium one, sorry, that one. And an 86 overall, 50 chem. And it's a rare mixed players pack. So it's a little bit expensive, but if you consider it's there for 12 days, it's not really a bad card to have. You could definitely craft it with upgrades. We are going to go now compare them to some of the other SBCs that have come out in that league and we'll be right back. So, with the first card, we have got ourselves Verratti Rule Breaker, who was an SBC. As you can see, he had medium high, four star, four star, much better in terms of defensiveness and having the four star, four star with the better work rates in terms of defensiveness. But if we were to compare him, as you can see, Paqueta is much faster, much better at finishing. Not as good as passing in terms of free kick accuracy and crossing, but in terms of long shot, uh, long pass and short pass, he is very, very good compared to that. This is where it gets interesting because you can see the balance and just overall dribbleness. Verratti is much better in that, and the same for the defensive awareness and slide tackle and stand tackle. So it depends what you want, Pequet. I think Pequet is more leaning towards more leaning towards the attacking position more than defensive. Definitely a box to box and a four four two. Or if you were to play 4-3-2-1 and box to box there. I don't know if you could play CDM that well. Now that leads us to our next card, which is going to be the Savonier player of the month is currently out. So he is more, they're quite equal in terms of these two cards here. So high, medium, right footed, four star, four star. Looking much better as a cam than anything. In terms of acceleration, sprint speed, Lucas is miles better. In terms of attacking positioning, shooting shot power they are very very close just Pequeta is much better in volleys and penalties and finishing then we have our passing stat which for me is very important as you can see here short pass long pass they are practically the same curl is practically the same the crossing is much better from Savonier and the vision is the same and the free kick accuracy is very very close so they are very very close then we compare them in agility and balance as you can see, Savonair does much better there in terms of balance and agility. The composure is very close to dribbling and ball control is much better for Lucas Pequeta. And then we go to the defensiveness. And I personally think Savin is actually a better card. Yes, his jumping isn't better. And he is much cheaper than Pequeta. So if you wanted to do that, if you didn't need a Brazilian link, I'd probably go for Savonair over Pequeta. That leads us to our next card here, which is going to be Julian Draxler, who came out a long time ago now. Drexler is a four star, five star, medium, medium. And again, they're very similar in terms of acceleration and sprint speed. The finishing, similar, positioning, similar. Shot power and long shots are better with Drexler. Volleys obviously are better and penalties are much worse. In terms of vision, crossing, they're very close again. They are rounded off. Long pass definitely goes towards Pequeta here. Curl, again, much better in the passing department. Then we look at their balance and agility. Pequeta much better. Reactions much better. Ball control, composure, and dribbling again much better. We look at their strengths and stamina. Pequeta trumps him on everything. In terms of defensiveness, definitely trumps him on that. So I think Pequeta is better than the Draxa card. If you like to have skill, if you prefer five star weak foot, then Draxa is definitely your man. Then that would leave us to Awa, who came out under the winter wild cards. And these cards are very close again. So high, medium, five star. Uh, four star, four star for Awa. In terms of acceleration, he's better in sprint speed, attack position and finishing. Very, very close again. Shot power, very close. Long shots, very close. Volleys and penalties, either the same or very close. Vision and crossing, very, very similar. Free kick accuracy is towards Pequeta, but short pass is much better with Awa, but then long pass is much better with Pequeta. The curl is very similar again. Agility and balance, basically spot on. Reaction is very close. Composure is much better with Pequeta, but then they are very similar in that aspect. Defensiveness, practically the same, and the same for the jumping. is much better with Pequeta, but the stamina and strength and aggression all favor Pequeta. 
Depends who you want him to link to. Obviously, Awa being a very, very good card from the same team. And then we have our objective card, Andre, who's more of a CDM. High, high, three star, three star. 86 rated. We look here. Obviously, faster. Much better at shooting. We're going to ignore that because there's no comparison there. In terms of passing, if it wasn't for Andre's uh, free kick accuracy, his passing would be much higher. But as you can see, the short pass and long pass are miles better with Pequeta. The vision and crossing, crossing quite similar, vision much better. Agility and balance, dribbling, composure, miles better with Lucas Pequeta. And this is where it gets interesting because Andre is way better in terms of defending with his interceptions being much higher, his heading accuracy, defensive awareness, stand tackle, close in terms of that, but stand tackle obviously 10 ahead and 10 and 11 ahead in slide tackle. The stamina is better, his jumping is better, his strength is better, and his aggression is better. So if you wanted a CDM and you've done this card in terms of objectives, I keep Andre. If you have got yourself a cam, then them two are very similar. I don't think they replace anyone. And if you don't have anyone, Tavernier is, in my opinion, a much better choice. I think Paqueta is good. I think he'd be good to grind, but you have to let me know if you're going to be completing him in the comments down below. If you are new to the channel, you hit the subscription button, turn on the notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cold, you can sit back, chill with a pen and take notes. I haven't got time for the trip and flow. I'ma take my aim with a pen and I'm low. Cock back spree, let my enemies know when I reach.